you got to go deep on this, though. Why are we scared? Was that the word you used before? We're scared to pick up the phone. We're scared to talk to people. Are we talking about the prospect or the salespeople or both? Uh, well, both. Yeah. <laughs> both. So, because they, they don't know guts. Right. They're right. <laughs> We're at dinner time. We're at home. Okay. Stay, the nice grilled steak. Big T-bone. I hope you guys are carnivores. Nice glass of wine. Fresh mashed potatoes. <laughs> asparagus with the butter melting on the table and everything. Your beautiful, charming uh, wife and family are sitting with you. You're sipping on this wonderful Pinot Noir. And then the phone rings. And it's a telemarketer. How do they feel? Annoyed. Are they going to be nice to you? Oh, Alex, I've been waiting all day for a phone call from a total stranger. I am getting ready to cut into my ribeye, and there's a salesperson calling me. You like your <laughs> or, or, Oh, yeah, I love T-bones, too. What's, what's the difference? Love... Between, what's, why do people love ribeye so much lately? Why is the ribeye so popular? I don't know. Maybe everybody loves ribeyes. I'm an old T-bone and filet mignon guy. Oh, man, I love filet mignons. Yeah. I love those. Yeah. Wrapped in bacon. And what am I doing here? What am I doing here, Phil? Just Phil, this is called gut sales technique. You this bring in the emotion, the emotion of the meal, the emotion oh, you tell me about. What's in your head right now? I hope you're, don't tell me you, you live for tofu, please. But, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm salivating. You said Pinot Noir for one thing. That's the, the most underrated red there is, by the way. So I already like it. Uh-oh. Look out, Alex. Now he's going to bring three glasses because Alex and I need one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, neglect is a Pinot. Oh, yeah. That's four. I'm sorry. Four glasses. What am I thinking? Oh, here. This my. This is. Uh... Oh, yeah. Here's Syrah. This is my favorite. Uh, we just got a case. Here, this is my favorite vineyard. Orfilo, Orfilo, okay. Orfilo. Orfilo. They're in Escondido, California. And Pascal, yeah, sure. Yeah. And uh, this is a, a Syrah. A little, this is a yeah. nice wine. Wow. Little, there is probably, um, God, how much is this? 35, 40, 35, 28 um, bucks? That one's probably about 30. I think the, the other one, though, I think this, I think this one is <laughs> 40. Yeah. I think that's closer to it's 40. It's called Benign Neglect. Same vineyard, different label. This is their Pinot. That sounds like one of your trainings. Oh, isn't that good? Benign. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's only 1.30 here, but I'm, I'm thinking of a glass of wine. You guys, <laughs> thank you guys. You drove me to drink. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about fun. You see, you can have fun in sales and learning sales. Yeah, you can. And, but the thing is, I was talking about wine and steak sizzling on the barbecue and that smell of the steak and the butter melting and the grilled onions. And, what did we all have in our mind here? What was that? A steak. Right. Can you imagine? I just did that by using a little, using the right words the right way. Imagine if we could do that selling our products or services, whatever they are. Do, do we get emotion? Can we get emotional when we, somebody puts a picture in our mind and we're hitting and we're making it real emotional with mm -hmm. that picture? Um, what, do you, what do you think happens to people when they get emotional about something and there's a little movie, a little Spielberg movie going on in their head at the same time? What do you think happens to the ability to persuade, influence, or get them to buy something? Yeah, you'll be able to get them to buy. <laughs> it goes all the way up. Yes. So can you? Absolutely. So.